From KHOU-TV Houston in the spirit of Texas, this is 11 News at 10. One year ago this month, these pictures were stunning the country. 39 men and women dead in a mass suicide in a California mansion. Tonight in Texas, concern it could happen here. A group says it's getting ready for the end of the world. Good evening, everybody. I'm Steve Smith. I'm Marlene McClinton. With the year 2000 closing in, there's a lot of concern about this. The doomsday cult in Garland, Texas, believes God will come this month, taking followers to another world in a flying saucer. Tonight, 11 News takes you where cameras have never gone before, inside the cult. Sandra Jen has our exclusive report. You are getting a rare look into the activities of a New Age religious group in which members don cowboy hats, white clothing, and gold accessories to communicate with God. In this never seen before footage, the followers are digging a hole six feet deep and eight feet across. They're all like, they're getting, like they're getting prepared for something. I don't know what. And filling it with things that future generations may need for their survival on Earth. I think it's crazy. Yeah, it's, it is really uh, some bizarre activity from a lot of people. <laughs> so I don't know why they make that judgment. They never talk to us, never ask us. They look to the sky for signs that God will rescue them in a flying saucer. This one? Simon Tsai says he gave up a lucrative textile business in Taiwan to follow God to Garland. God will let us know everything, and uh, we just follow, and everything always come true. Tsai and 150 men, women, and children moved to this Dallas suburb last May. The town was supposedly designated by divine revelation. From what Master Chen says, uh, Garland sounds like God land, and apparently thousands of years ago, God was here, and they were told to return here. Master Chen says the world is coming to an end in 1999, and God will appear in Garland at the end of this month to warn us about it. On March 31st, God will descend and appear in another human form with exactly the same appearance with Master Chen. But people in this conservative, God-fearing city aren't buying it. If he does return March 31st, there's going to be some some people in trouble in this world. I just think it's a bunch of baloney. Their leader says the world will be destroyed by nuclear holocaust, all except the United States. God's spaceship will save reincarnated survivors and take them to another realm. It's a strange mix of Christianity, Buddhism, and science fiction. UFOs, flying saucers, have, have been the vehicle of choice for a number of these groups. The use of high tech doesn't stop there. The leader of the group says six days before God's return, everyone will be able to see the Almighty on their television sets on Channel 18. You might say it's a day-long infomercial from God. Oh, this is nice. Vegetarian. But as I spent rare moments in the homes of cult members, playing with their children. We are much more devoted to the truth of God. And getting to know their parents. I wondered if this could become another doomsday cult story with a tragic ending. In 1978, it happened in Jonestown. In 1993, tragedy struck Waco. And exactly one year ago this month, the Heaven's Gate mass suicide stunned California. Will these people be next? We'll go back inside the cult tomorrow for those answers. Sandra Jin, 11 News. And you will see that report right here tomorrow on 11 News at 10. Tonight, 11 News brings you more on that doomsday cult in Garland, Texas. It chose that city because it sounds like Godland. Members believe God will go there later this month and take them away in a flying saucer. In another exclusive report, Sandra Jin takes us inside the cult. It's big news for this exclusive Dallas suburb. More than 140 Taiwanese cult members moved here 10 months ago for what they say is a temporary stay until God comes to get them via flying saucer. We love the God and the God would come to our house and we feel very uh, pray, uh, proud. 11 News was allowed inside this very private group. They wanted to show the public who they really are. 
They are families, some with three generations. Many live within a few houses or blocks of each other. Realtor Sheila Trong sold 20 homes to the group when they began arriving. Wow, they, they did it by cash. Plenty of cash from doctors, professors, and engineers who gave it all up to follow God to Garland. They won't do anything to others. This is why they want to buy cash, everything. God will say everything. Like the others, James Lee expects to leave with God in a flying saucer soon. Yeah. So there is no need for jobs or schools now. Until then, he and his family will fill their days with prayer and preparation. Yes, everyone is very happy. <laughs> Religious scholar Lynn Mitchell has studied people in cults and found they all seem to have one thing in common. People who are attracted to these cults generally are just basically bored with life and uh, don't have any meaning in their lives. They're kind of lost souls. But the members say they are used to the ridicule. We just aren't devoted to our, our own belief in God, so we don't think we are queer. As part of their daily routine, members of this cult come to this house, the house of the master, to pray to God to purify their souls before he returns. They expect to meet God at 10 a.m. on the last day of March at this very location on Ridgedale Drive, not surprisingly, Master Chan's home. When God, when God comes on March 31st, he will, he will also dress in white. God is white hair. It is also stated in the Bible. At that time, there will be two Master Chan's. The 42-year-old former sociology professor answers most questions by consulting God through his right hand. God prohibits people to commit suicide. He assures me the members will not kill themselves if his prophecy of doom doesn't come to pass. But he didn't rule out the group taking revenge on him. He doesn't mind what people would do to him. What if they punished him or hurt him? It's, it's their decision to make. But sources tell Eleven News, Chen once indicated he would take his own life. City officials are prepared. We're going to do everything in our power to see that, that sh you know, that no harm is going to come to Mr. Chen. At least from, you know, from neighbors or from his own group. While they prepare for heavenly revelations, their neighbors are concerned about earthly realities. In my opinion, any time you get any kind of cult activity, it's never no good. It never ends in a good situation. A situation that Garland, Texas, and the rest of the world will be watching. Sandra Jin, 11 News. Many members of that group say they plan to stay in Garland if God does not appear as scheduled on March 31st, but others say they'll be going back to Taiwan. And back here from the radio, Dr. Neil.